everybody, we're back. Let's see if I can get it to work now. We're idling. It's about as low as it can go. Uh, without dying, about 1,800. It can probably go a little lower. I had a couple things come loose on me. I need to get some Loctite. What voltage we're holding? Uh, AC. We're down 135. So I might gear it down a little more. AC. I'll have to see. That'll be put to probably 145 volts. That's just between two phases on a star. On this one right here, so one horse, 115 volt. So we are over spinning slightly. I hope this don't die. Let's see if I loosen this. I know it went up a little bit. Okay, so now I got my throttle cable in my hand. Sorry, if my camera's a little off. I'm trying to do a lot at once. Now we're really over spinning. I'm gonna have to really, uh, I don't want to walk over there. they going that fast. look at uh let's look at it for a minute so yeah a couple screws came out of the the set screws i need to i need really need to heat them up or put some cleaner in there carb cleaner and then lock tight it like i lost one in this it's still gone but i uh actually i thought i put it back in there i guess it came out again i need to lock tight it uh and i've even had problems with these because there's oil in there so if the oil's still in there it'll come right out even on a even on an electric drive box uh, I've had issues with them on these because uh, they're such a small set screw, man. If it was a little bigger, you could really get some torque on it. But if it's out here, I'll find it. And I need to buy a bag of them. But uh, yeah, hope y'all enjoy, man. Uh, so the next videos will be wiring this thing. I'm gonna. We're probably gonna go ahead and bring all the the neutrals out that I can, which means we're gonna do this. Make sure I get the camera in the right spot. We're going to do this right here, like I did. We brought the neutrals out there. So there's six wires. So you can wire it delta or star. Uh, or you can even uh, take each pair individually if you want. There's a couple of things you can do. And you can even get in there a little further and, and dig into it and get some more. Uh, I need to check cross-check 
check all the voltages. If one of them is really high, one technique is I could get a slightly bigger, slightly smaller uh, sprocket for it on this clock box. So Tim called it, so I just call it that too. We could uh, very easily uh, just put a little, we, I can calculate what I need to get the voltage the same. Uh, that's one option, just gear it. Now, that's why I tried to pair them evenly and I didn't perfectly on this, but we'll come close. Uh, yeah, as long as we come close, it's all right. They'll sl they, they, they slave down to each other. So if you were to parallel them all up, as long as you're doing DC and you have rectifiers, uh, they're not gonna lens against each other. You're just gonna feed forward and your voltage will stay one, it's gonna be one voltage. Uh, the ECMs, yeah, they might try to bring it up, but it's going to be one voltage because they're going to be all locked together. Uh, and then that's what you're finally got to deal with. So now, since I had 100 and, uh, basically 130 volts there, we could look at, uh, I don't know what it would be, DC, probably about 145. So let's look at that. On this mode, that's what I had it clamped up to, that ECM. So I go if I go in there and uh, take out, there's no bolts in there? Dang, there isn't it. I forgot to put bolts in there. But that one I had to drive in, man. That's why it's still together. That was a real pain. It, maybe it doesn't even need screws because it, it, it was a pain. <laughs> I guess I forgot to put them in there anyway. <laughs> it works. So uh, I go in there and make it delta, pull it out. That'll cut your voltage in half. That'll bring the 130 down to about 65. Uh, that's what I want. So it looks like we are going to have to bring uh, those out the white ECM so I'm gonna have a couple of accessories on this that I need DC for and I already got a couple of 90 volt down uh, things for that to uh, for, to make 12 volts so I can run some accessories uh, with this it's gonna be a surprise so I can't wait to show you all when it's all done and I'm gonna fix this too. these these plates I'm gonna fix those with uh, I'm gonna get some probably 3 8 plates and just put six holes in them plate it off that way it gets a solid foot and I'm gonna spread them out on both sides because it's heavy now, man. This thing is uh, at least three, four, three, at least 300 pounds at least. Uh, yeah, you'd have to roll it on ramps to get it in a truck bed or have three or four people. Anyway, all right, hope y'all enjoy. Uh, the next videos are gonna be, like, like I said, wire and bringing all the wires out. I might switch these out, to be honest, because I can't, That's the these are the only ones I can't do that with, and I have plenty of ECMs. I think I will switch some white ones out and, and use them for something else. These would actually make a really good wind or water generator because they're potted, they're fully potted, you can't modify them. So you can't see the coils, you can't see the nothing, the iron, nothing, all you can see is these coming out and a little bit of steel on the inside with the magnets are uh you know manipulated in there so so this is great this is like waterproof as it gets this would be a great uh and it's it's a 120 volt so you get it spinning pretty good with a water wheel you get some good voltage out of that thing so and, and you know about six amps but for a water wheel that's uh that's that's decent i mean if you if you had a couple of these you could have a couple water wheels going so that would be substantial. You, you would be able to run like a small cabin if you had four or five of those white ones as water wheels. Anyway, don't want to keep talking about random stuff. Hope you all enjoy. I got to put this stuff up, man. All right. Have a good night. Peace.